recorded specially for this programme by the Guy Hamper Trio featuring James Taylor. Uh, Walk of the Sasquatch, Sasquatch being Bigfoot. And when we went to Alaska, Trace and I, uh, she bought me a T-shirt with Undefeated, uh, Hide and Seek Champion of the World with the uh, Bigfoot on it, uh, which is one of my favourite shirts. But the album by the Guy Hamper Trio, it's out now on Damaged Goods, naturally, and it's uh, called All the Poisons in the Mud. And uh, while Billy, from an interview with Louder Than War, said, well, the question being, how would you describe the band's sound? And Billy explained, I guess there must be a derogatory term for it, but I might need some help finding it. In the very early days of the James Taylor Quartet, Wolf was a drummer back then, now with uh, Wild Billy. I was in Natural Born Lovers, a blues group with Big Russ Wilkins and Sexton Ming. We used to do support for them. I really like the sound, and I guess a Guy Hamper trio is not a million miles from the blues-influenced film soundtrack vibe, man. There, you made me say, man. And then he said, the next thing you know, I'll be saying, cool. Let's just say it's a wizard sound. And Jamie, James Taylor, is such a great player. There is no denying any of that. Uh, So, yeah, here we go. Walk of the Sasquatch.
blistering stuff that is the Guy Hamper Trio with James Taylor and Walker the Sasquatch and I know that the last time uh, Wild Billy um, CTMF actually did a session for myself and Gideon Co he ended up putting it out on a tenant record with both Gid's name and my name on it around about ten months later so hopefully these tunes will surface on vinyl at some point uh, but for now this is the only place that you can hear them uh, Mark Dotson